Hey guys, all right, so let's continue down this vein of talking about the perfect foundation, right? We uh, talked about color matching and how we got you covered because we know that it's always such a problem to find the perfect color. Well, now let's talk about the look and feel and coverage of the foundation because I'm telling you this liquid to powder foundation right here, this guy right here, is going to be your next favorite foundation. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shake this up a little bit. I'm going to show you how to apply it and um, things to keep in mind. You're going to have full gorgeous coverage. Okay, which is what you want. You're not going to have a cakey look or a heavy feeling or um, it's not going to feel kind of gross and icky, but you're still going to have that amazing coverage that you want. In fact, it's going to be so amazing that I've had girls say, um, I feel porcelain. I don't know what to do. And I've got some help with that too. You know you've got a good foundation when your face kind of feels... Um, monotone. Yes, that's what we're looking for, monotone. So you see I put five drops on this brush. I always tell people start with five drops. You can go more or less depending on, um, you know, how good your skin is, how well this foundation covers your skin, but about five drops is a good place to start. So for applying, I just do a couple dabs. Um, I have not put my concealer on yet. I like to make sure and see what my foundation covers before I go back and do a concealer, right? Because if the foundation covers what I want to cover, there's no sense in doing an added step of a concealer. So I always put um, the foundation on first. I also put a primer on because a primer is going to... Uh, it's the magic sauce to help the foundation kind of stick better, last longer, all that good stuff. Um, it doesn't affect the look and feel though. So you're still going to get this beautiful coverage, a non cakey feel, quick and easy. Did you see how easy that was? Um, you're definitely going to want to check out this brush for this, for the application. It's definitely going to help you. I think that's my word today, definitely. <laughs> it is definitely going to help you get the best application of this foundation. So um, there, as you can see, that was quick and easy. If you want to head in and do a concealer, um, a little dab will do ya. A little dab, a little dab will do ya. <laughs> Less than the size of a grain of rice. And um, today I'm just going to do a little extra coverage of my darker circles. If you noticed, I went way down here. And what that does is make sure you're not highlighting that you're trying to cover up your dark circles. So if you bring that color all the way down, it, it's not like you've got this distinct line again that shows that you're trying to cover something. All right, there you go. Um, quick and easy and beautiful and light and airy and your skin is going to love you for it. As you can see it's pretty matte, it's pretty flat, so we'll, we will address how to fix that later. <laughs> Alright you guys let me know if you have any questions and um, you'll be seeing more of me. Bye guys!